Hey there folks, thought I'd bring you another tool haul video. I know it's been a little while, but I finally got enough here to seem like a somewhat decent tool haul. So yeah, let's get started. So first up, I got a Lyle uh, flywheel locking tool for the Duramaxes. Had to do a water pump on them and uh, this basically a necessity. So it's really nice, it's cheap. Like uh, I wanna say on Amazon got it for like $13, so you can't really go wrong. Um, Fortunately, I don't think it does. It doesn't have a uh, part number on it, but you can just search it up and it should come up right away. There's that. And then this, it, which by the way, works, works great. Works just like it says it should <laughs> for being a cheap tool. And another tool that um, I picked up cheap was from a local parts store. And uh, yeah, this thing is awful. I had to use it on doing some brakes for my uh, girlfriend and it just kept rounding off uh, I can't remember which square it was but it just kept rounding off and being it just sucked and uh, I don't know if that's just all of them or if it's just because it was cheaper you know one from the parts store or what the deal is but it just was it was terrible to use because it just kept wanting to slip in there but what do you do and then next up for another one got another Maxion light uh, still one of my favorite lights especially for the price 30 bucks 35 bucks somewhere in there um, they're really good batteries really good on them I like them I used it this morning a little welding project and got a little bit of spatter on there so that's kind of nice but way she goes next up I picked up a right angle die grinder from Amazon got it the old Ingersoll Rand haven't used it a whole lot so I can't really give it a complete quick little review anything used a couple times one thing i don't like which i can change myself but is this it just never seems like you always have to use two hand boom can't ever just slide it up to use it but that's all right it's still nice it's nice small convenient compared to my i have uh i think they're one horsepower matco ones that are a lot larger they're nice they're just really big for certain areas so there's that next up i picked up sweet Mako black and blue quarter inch ratchet I really like it with flex head locking um, these ratchets look awesome they're nice slim profile and the locking mechanism on it's pretty good so yeah used it like once or twice that's why she looks brand spanking new but follow up I also got and I didn't bring the whole set home just because I didn't think there was any need but I got the uh, I think it's a four piece or five piece snap on pry bar set really enjoying them so far really nice pry bar set that's for sure uh next up matco came out with and I, I don't know if it's recent or a while ago but a lifetime warranty carbide burr set um i've been using these pretty often i would say since i've gotten them and they've held up good i've had a warranty i think it was this one but that was kind of my idea. Even if you got a warranty them, they don't last forever. It's like, well, that's why you bought them for the lifetime warranty, not to have to buy them more and more. So, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with them. But there's the whole set. Also the part number for y'all. And I also want to see if I can get... I don't see one here on the Ingersoll Rand for you guys. But there shouldn't be that easy or hard to find. I just looked it up on Amazon and that was that. Next up, uh, warranty item. Got a uh, snap-on extension. So, nothing special with that. And then, picked up... Oh, come on. Of course, it's on the bottom of the bag. One of these Mako oil filter wrenches. Haven't got to use it yet. Excited to for those really stuck ones. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on this. I'll probably do a review on it because it just, I haven't seen many of them. So there's that part number for y'all. And then next up, picked up a half inch Ingersoll Rand impact gun. Um, been pretty good to me so far. I haven't used it like for months on end, so I can't give you a full good warranty on them. Uh, I think it came out to 270 is what I got it for. I want to say somewhere in there. Got it from Napa. There is that. 
but yeah i like it. i'm liking it it's not as strong my uh co-worker just got the like newest maco half inch impact and um his is stronger not i wouldn't say like ridiculously stronger but it definitely is he's it can do a little bit more than mine can but that's all right so next up kind of last couple things had to splurge a little bit one day and got the snap-on air hammer bits i got this whole set right here with there's that and my dealer threw in this one because at the same time i also bought the air hammer which has been fantastic for me um i'm really liking it i've seen all the reviews i know they're one of the most expensive out there but i all the reviews say how people have them have the older ones anyways for years and years and years and they keep working so i figured it was worth the investment and um so far it's treating me very well and i'm, I'm really liking it and uh as far as bits go they've been pretty dang good to me um this bit i like using a lot when you have to for t i use it um taking uh the anchor rings or bushings i guess actually is what they are out of the anchor pins for drum brakes on semis so you got to be really careful obviously you can gouge the sides and stuff but as long as you're careful they come out pretty easy with that which is nice um i know i think that there is ajax and lyle and i'm making a special tool for doing the anchor pins but i am waiting on my matco dealer to maybe get me some of those um we'll go from there with that but yeah, i think that is gonna wrap it up um yeah these i will say the bits are not cheap um but it is what it is so you want a lifetime warranty on the their air hammer bits plus i was i've heard horror stories of people with um cheaper ones that kind of blow up in their face when they're using them all the time uh it actually happened to my coworker, and uh yes that's why i was like well I'll go for these not that it can't happen with these but i would you would like to think anyways that if you're paying for the price you're going to get a little bit better quality one that hopefully won't do that but you never know things could always happen so yeah i'll give you guys a little quick overshot of everything and also uh this has got the boot on it too just in case you guys are wondering as you can tell and uh yeah these also these max sand lights you can find on amazon too you don't i buy them from my macro dealers because he has them right there on the spot but yeah you can find them on amazon so yeah thanks for watching hopefully i'll have more content coming out soon so yeah appreciate it guys have a good one